Hey guys, I'm Theo Joe, and I'm gonna teach you how to do something that you probably didn't think was possible, and that's how to boost your internet speed by optimizing your connection right from your wire. Now, it's actually really easy to do with your existing equipment, your existing wires and everything. You don't have to go and buy anything. It's really easy, so why don't I show you how to do it? It's, it's really simple. Now we're basically gonna do two things. First, we're gonna clear off the contacts on the cable because most people don't realize that these connections usually come not in great condition right from the factory and there's not that much they can do because it is damaged during the shipping. And secondly, we're gonna optimize the data flow through the cable and I'll show you how to do that as well. All of this is really easy, only takes a couple of minutes, so don't worry if it sounds complicated. You'll be able to do it no problem. First, what you need to do is, if you can get a can of air which will blow onto the contacts to clean them out, what most people don't realize is that you really only need one of the contacts in the wire. Now, the reason there are so many of them is because even the smallest contamination can render the contact useless or even diminish the data transfer through it significantly. So what they do is actually add in multiple connections. This one has five, it's CAT5, but CAT6 and CAT7 have six and seven connections. And the reason they add these, again, is because during transport from the factory to the store or the customer, there's gonna be dust that accumulates and there's nothing they can do to avoid that except add more connections so that you can have the connection clear at least one of them. And the more connections clear you have, the faster the connection will go. So what you wanna do is just blow it off and you, and you really wanna either use canned air or if you can, I guess you could blow into it just with your mouth and your lungs, but canned air is optimal because there's no contamination. And then blow it for, you know, as long as you think is uh, enough to clear off the connections. If you're in a really dirty environment, you probably need to do more. And that should be enough to really clear off those connections and have them all usable for your computer, which will significantly improve your connection speed because all of them are used by the internet. Now that's one great way to increase the internet speed, but if your connections were already clear, you probably wouldn't see that big of a difference. The second thing we're gonna do should significantly again increase your internet speed, so it'll be pretty much like a double whammy. And what we're gonna do is make sure that the data is flowing in the right direction. Most people don't realize that for every cable, one direction from beginning to end is usually better optimized for data flow. So in most cases, people do more downloading than uploading. So we wanna make sure that it's optimized to accept data and take data in in the right direction as opposed to uploading so that we'll get a faster connection when downloading, but it probably wouldn't increase your uploading speed. Now, it might not be that obvious how this could be possible, but I thought for the science buffs, we would take a look at the physics and look at Maxwell's equations, which explains exactly how this works. You see, due to irregularities in the manufacturing process, one end of the cable is usually thicker than the other. So when we take the integral using tensor calculus of the Minkowski space of the wire, then we can see that the area under the curve, therefore the internet speed, is going to be faster when you do it in one direction as opposed to the other. Therefore, if we start the connection and begin the flow of data through the thicker side, it increases the speed because the potential to the lower potential on that side is greater. Therefore, we want the thicker side to be towards the computer because that means there's going to be a higher potential than the other side, which means the data is gonna go into the computer faster if that's the way it's oriented. So how do we know exactly which side is the thicker side to plug into the computer? Well, first you just have to look at the markings on the cable. Every cable is going to have words and symbols printed on it so you know what kind of cable it is. Now, as the manufacturing process goes on, the cable gets slightly thinner during the assembly line process. So the words are printed from left to right, which means that it's gonna be cut on the left and the thicker side is going to be to the left of the words when you're looking at them upright. So all you have to do is look at the markings of the cable and orient them upright normally, and then look to the left side of the markings 
and that's the side that is thicker, which is the side you'd want to plug into the computer. And it's probably a good idea to leave a mark on there for your future reference. And again, this is assuming that you are doing more downloading. If you need a faster upload speed, then you would just orient it exactly the reverse. So instead of just talking about it, why don't we go and take an exact look at the computer and do a test for how much this will increase your internet speed. So I'll go to the computer right now. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is do a test with just a random cable I found lying around, wasn't cleaned off at all, and I made sure to plug it in the wrong way, so we'll see how this stacks up against the other cable in the next test. So let's do our base test first and see how it turns out. Just gonna do a basic upload download test on speed test. All right, so let's see if it averages out. Not too bad actually, we already got a pretty good speed to start out with, so hopefully it'll be able to increase even more. That would be really nice. So, wait for that one to finish. And then now the upload speed. And the upload speed probably won't increase that much because we want to optimize the download. So we'll see how that works. That's actually, I think, saturating my upload anyway, so I don't think it could go higher. So let's see. All right, so 52 and 34 up. So now let's go and replace the cable with the optimized one that I just cleaned off and put in the right way, and we'll see how that performs. Okay, so I just swapped out the cable, and now let's do this test right again and see how it works this time. Going up, and all right, I can already see that it's much higher speed. Before it was about 52, now it's going up to about 80. So that's like a 30 megabit per second difference, which is really great. So that's a very noticeable increase and almost a 50% increase. And let's see what happens with the upload speed. It looks to be about the same which is pretty much what we expected. So there wasn't really a change in the upload speed, but we got that huge boost in the download speed. So obviously this works and it turned out with a pretty great result, so I'm happy with it. All right, so as you can see, there was a significant increase in the internet speed and it really only took a couple of minutes tops to mark the right end of the cable and clean off the contacts. So before and after, we saw a huge improvement, and I'm probably gonna do this with all my cables and make sure that they are optimized. If you guys found this video helpful, I'm really interested to know how this went for you guys. So be sure to leave a comment and let others know how it went, and maybe you have some other tricks that you know that other people don't that will help them increase their internet speed as well. And if you wanna like this video, if you found it helpful, that'd be great, give it a thumbs up so I know you guys enjoyed it. If you want to continue watching some other tutorials, I've got them on the right hand side. You can either click them or look in the description for the same links such as if you're on a phone. And if you want to subscribe, I make new videos three times a week, so I think it should be worth it. I look forward to hearing from you guys either in the comments section or on Twitter as well. So thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Have a good one.